Welcome to the channel. Today headlines are Reports suggest NASCOM is developing self-healing runway technology, allowing air bases to repair themselves after damage. This could provide a major advantage in conflict zones. If successful, it will enhance Pakistan's rapid response capabilities. The Pakistan Air Force is testing AI-driven Skymasters for high-altitude resupply missions. These autonomous aircraft could ensure faster logistics support in remote areas. Experts believe this could reshape aerial resupply operations. Enhancing naval defense, the Pakistan Navy is exploring liquid armor technology for fast attack craft. This futuristic material hardens on impact, increasing protection against high-speed threats and improving vessel survivability. In Gilgit, Baltistan's Astori district, the Pakistan army rescued a 27-year-old woman experiencing complications during childbirth. After delivering one twin, she faced difficulties with the second. Army personnel transported her through heavy snowfall to a medical facility, ensuring the safety of both mother and newborns. Upgrading battlefield precision, Pakistan's special forces are testing next-generation sniper rifles. These advanced weapons offer superior range, accuracy, and stealth, significantly improving counterterrorism and long-range engagement capabilities. Securing space assets, Suparco has launched StarShield, a satellite countermeasure system designed to protect military satellites from electronic warfare threats. This initiative strengthens Pakistan's presence in the growing space defense sector. Welcome to Pakistan Geo Defense Updates. Stay updated on the latest defense news and analysis from Pakistan and worldwide. Before we dive into today's detailed headlines, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more information. In a significant advancement, reports indicate that Pakistan is developing the Whisper Fan technology to enhance the stealth capabilities of its unmanned aerial vehicles. This innovation aims to reduce the acoustic signature of drones, making them less detectable during reconnaissance and combat missions. By minimizing noise output, WhisperFan could allow drones to operate closer to targets without alerting adversaries, thereby increasing the effectiveness of surveillance and strike operations. This development underscores Pakistan's commitment to advancing its indigenous defense technologies and could potentially shift the dynamics of aerial stealth operations in the region. Emerging reports suggest that Pakistan is working on a groundbreaking metacloak coating designed to enhance the stealth capabilities of its naval vessels. This advanced material is engineered to manipulate electromagnetic waves effectively rendering ships less visible to radar and sonar detection systems. The Meta Cloak technology could provide a significant strategic advantage by allowing naval assets to operate undetected in contested waters, thereby increasing their survivability and operational effectiveness. If successful, this innovation would represent a substantial leap in maritime stealth technology, the 9th Multinational Maritime Exercise Aman 2025 has officially commenced at the Pakistan Navy Dockyard in Karachi, bringing together naval forces from numerous countries to enhance regional maritime security and foster international cooperation. The exercise aims to promote interoperability among participating navies through a series of drills and operations focused on combating common maritime threats such as piracy, terrorism, and smuggling. AMAN 2025 underscores Pakistan's commitment to collaborative security efforts and highlights the importance of collective maritime strategy. Pakistan is reportedly developing an innovative approach to landmine clearance with the introduction of iron ant swarm robots. These autonomous machines are designed to work collaboratively using advanced algorithms and sensors to detect and neutralize landmines in affected areas. 
The Swarm Robotics approach allows for efficient and safe mine clearance operations, minimizing risks to human deminers, and accelerating the process of rendering land safe for civilian use. If successfully implemented, the Iron Ant robots is the Pakistan Air Force testing a new hypersonic railgun called Lightning Whip for base defense? Hypersonic railguns use electromagnetic energy to launch projectiles at speeds exceeding Mach 5, offering rapid response against aerial threats. If PAF is developing such technology, it could significantly enhance its defensive capabilities. However, challenges like high energy consumption and material durability persist. As nations like the US and China explore railgun applications, could Pakistan be joining this advanced defense technology race? And that's all for today. Today's question is,